Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I was gonna say good morning, but it's actually the afternoon now. I think it's like 12.30. I'm just about to head out. I'm gonna go to HomeSense. I need to return the shower caddy that I bought because it just doesn't work with my shower head. I'm gonna see if I can find a different one. And then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and do a grocery haul. And I'll show you guys what I pick up. I tried making a list of everything that I need, but I feel like I'm missing a lot of things. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll be back to the grocery store again soon. But honestly, Honestly, there's like no pantry space in this kitchen so I don't want to get like too much all at once I do keep some stuff in this cupboard it's like spices teas drink mixes stuff like that um, but besides that this one cabinet here is like the pantry space the thing is the shelves are like somewhat deep but then you can't see anything that's back there and they're just very narrow so i need to figure out like this is not organized at all but i need to figure out how i'm going to organize everything in here before i head out i'm actually going to have a built bar um i actually have a new mix box down here so i might crack this open these were so helpful when i was moving because i had packed all my food i just kept out a bunch of these bars and then i would have them as snacks i did a terrible job opening this box but if you guys have never tried out these bars before i do recommend doing the mix box because there's so many different flavors to try out. I also have a code that you can use and you'll save some money. So I'll put that on the screen. I'll also have it in the description box. This is one of my favorites, the coconut almonds. This one has 18 grams of protein, 180 calories. It's like chocolate on the outside, gooey goodness on the inside. It's kind of like a, is it a Mars bar? Similar kind of idea. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go grocery shopping on a holiday Monday. For some reason I thought it was going to be dead, but it was extremely busy. I didn't even return the shower caddy because the line was so long and the grocery store was hectic, so I didn't vlog. I just got the groceries and got out of there. So I'm back home now. We've got the goods. This is everything that I picked up and I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. This has been a go-to for a long time. It's just the cream soda Zevia. It's got some more bananas, apples, spinach, lemons, little thing of garlic, pepper. So it's kind of the produce that I got. I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen this before, but it's the Earth's own naked oat milk. So there's only four ingredients in it. It's also gluten-free. I picked up a few spices. I did bring some over, but I left like salt and pepper. So those are obviously a staple. This is Ceylon cinnamon. I got another thing of coffee. I don't know if this one's any good. It's just a good price, but I did try one of the Whole Foods coffees before and I don't think I was a fan. So I'm hoping this is a different one. I feel like every time I go to the grocery store, there's a new coffee creamer, which I'm not mad about because I haven't found one that I'm obsessed with. So this one is a cashew milk and it is hazelnut flavor. So I am excited to give that a go. I normally just blend coconut oil and collagen into my coffees, but I'm out of collagen right now. And I also don't have a really good blender to blend the coconut oil. So I thought I would just take a little break break and go back to creamers for a minute. We've got some raw almond butter, two cans of tuna. These are some of my favorite crackers. They're from Crunchmaster. There's a couple different flavors, but the ingredients are pretty clean and they taste good. Got some cheese, decided to switch it up and I did mozzarella today. I love to shred this on top of like pastas. Got another thing of grass-fed butter because I'm probably gonna make cookies today. And then I use up like half of this, um, this block. So that's just like a backup. Picked up a value pack of chicken breasts. I don't have any meat in the house. I just am gonna be working with tuna and chicken for the next little bit. Also got some mayo, some free range organic eggs. This is my favorite pasta from Chicopee, not specifically the penne. They all taste the same. They're just like different shapes, but I love this one. I'm also trying out this pasta sauce. It's just the tomato basil from the Whole Foods 365 brand. I got two packs of frozen berries, just strawberries and raspberries. Berries. These are not the wraps that I normally get, but I didn't see the ones that I like. They are organic whole wheat, or maybe these are the same. The ingredients aren't the best, but compared to the, all the other ones, um, it was kind of like the best option that I saw. Let me know if you guys have any go-to wrap brands. Got some carrots, and I think this is the last thing, just a dark chocolate bar. I like to snack on this at night. I'll just have like a couple squares normally with like tea or something. So that is the haul and I'm hoping that this is gonna fit in my fridge because my fridge is pretty small and these are pretty much full. Um, also, the spacing is just really weird. Like I almost wanna take out one of the shelves because you can't fit any tall items in here, but then losing a shelf 
does take away from space. So let's see if we can organize it. Actually, I had no issue fitting everything in. Normally I wouldn't keep my milk this way, but I'm gonna finish this one up first, then I'll just put that there. I thought I would just continue this vlog and do a what I eat in a day today. This morning, I just had my coffee. I tried out that creamer, which honestly, I would not repurchase. I felt like it didn't have any flavor and there was zero sweetness. And I don't like sweet creamers, but it literally, it just felt like I'd put a splash of milk in my coffee. And I definitely prefer some of the other ones that I've tried. I also had a cookie with my coffee. That's like my go-to. And I always use the Kodiak cake mix. So it's basically Kodiak cake mix with oats, grass-fed butter, coconut sugar, egg, and vanilla. So it's not super healthy, but it's also not that bad. There's some nutrients in it. So I love those cookies. I always make a batch and then I keep them in the fridge. Personally, I like chilled cookies. I don't know why, but having a chilled cookie and hot coffee is like amazing. So that's all I've had so far. And then I just took Tika out. She had breakfast and it's already 10. I feel like this morning flew by. I think I'm just going to do scrambled eggs and toast for breakfast. I know I filmed this, I think in my last vlog, um, but I always go through phases where I'm into sweet breakfast and then I'm into savory breakfast. And right now I'm really enjoying eggs. So it's really simple. I have some onion and pepper chopped up in my fridge. I'm just going to use that, do two eggs, piece of toast. I've also just been adding in spike. Really simple, but that's what we're gonna be doing for breakfast. Still don't have a table i ordered one and it's going to take like three weeks to get here so i just eat off the counter right now also luckily vancouver has really good tap water but i still want to get a filter i left my brita at the other place i don't know if colby took it i have not been having filtered water lately i'm also tempted to buy like a really good filter there's one called i can't remember but there's a lot of things that i need to buy right now and they're all expensive so i'm trying to space it out oh berkeley i want a berkeley filter I'm gonna go run a few errands. I'm also going to my old gym one more time uh, since it's over in North Van and I have to go clean the old house. So I'm gonna head out in a second, but I feel like having one more cookie. So that's what we're gonna do. I just finished up at the gym, but it was not a very good workout because I misplaced my gym mask when I was moving and I only have these cloth ones and they're so brutal for working out in. I was like inhaling it the whole time and I just wanted to get out of there. So I was there for like 30 minutes, better than nothing. I went to Victoria's Health Bar and I got the hazel balm. I can't remember all the ingredients, but it's chocolate whey protein, hazelnuts. I think there's like coconut manna in it, but it is delish. I also picked up some protein powder because I'm pretty much out at home. I've never tried this one before. The ingredients are okay. 27 grams of protein, three carbs, two grams of sugar. It's just sweetened with a little bit of stevia. It's grass fed. I need to do a little bit of research because I don't have like a favorite go-to at the moment. I do have a favorite vegan protein though. It's by Sprout, Sprout Living. Oh my gosh, they make the best protein powders. They didn't sell it there. I'm definitely gonna order more of that. Um, but yeah, it's getting very hot in my car, so um, I'm just gonna enjoy this and then go clean. It is 4.30, I'm starving. 
Honestly, I picked a bad day to do what I eat in a day because I've just been too busy to actually make meals and I feel like that's what's more interesting. I didn't even have time to clean the old house because after the gym, I went to the house and I filled up my car with all the stuff that I still had there. So my car was full and then I had an appointment. So I went to that and then I just wanted to come home because I'm hungry and Tika needs to eat. But I also went to Ikea and I got the Besta drawer that I'm gonna build and put in the front room so that I can finally put away just like the clothes that I have so I want to do that now um, I'm gonna have a snack first though and feed teaks but I had to do like five trips down to my car thank goodness I paid for parking in my building because if I had to do those trips back and forth from like blocks away that would have been a nightmare and the IKEA stuff was actually really heavy so parking is already coming in clutch but yeah what was I gonna say um, I still have some stuff in my car so I'll probably need to do another trip or two but I'm gonna sort out what I have up here First, let's eat something. I don't know what we're gonna have. I'm just gonna see what is available. Super quick and easy. I'm just gonna have some of these crackers with cream cheese, some strawberries, and a Brazil nut, which might sound random, but these are really high in selenium, so I like to have those on occasion. That's Tika eating too. I was gonna do a snack plate, but honestly, I'm just gonna eat them straight from the containers. So good. An hour later, this thing is driving me insane because the holes don't line up for the shelves. Okay, like see these, these are in line, but on this side, this is like hole nine. And over here, this is hole nine, and it's like they don't line up. It is now 6.30. I got the cabinet put together. That one shelf is not level, but I kind of just went with it. So here's what it's looking like. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I don't know if it's like too much, but I kind of like that table. Anyways. The website told me to buy four shelves and I only used two, so I'm going to return those. But this is what it looks like. I don't know what happened here. These aren't level. <laughs> so I'm going to try to fix that or I might just leave it. But it'll be good to hide just like knickknacks and things. Oh, it's still so disorganized in here, but we're slowly making progress. We're going to do pasta. It's pretty simple. It's kind of what I always do. I'm going to use the leftover half of this onion. Also, I'm going to make two portions and then I'm probably going to have the leftovers tomorrow. I'm going to cook up two of these breasts and then I'll probably freeze the rest. I'm going to put some carrot in there and then we're just using the pasta and the pasta sauce that I got yesterday. So that is pretty much it. I'll add in some spices. I was thinking about adding pepper, but I think I'll save that for something else. So yeah, super easy. Literally five ingredients minus the spices, but that will be dinner. I'm still in my clothes that I wore to the gym earlier, so I should probably shower first. I've also decided to have a glass of wine while I cook.
using this as my table. <laughs> and I feel like it's really sketchy with pasta and wine, but hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm either gonna watch Grey's Anatomy or Desperate Housewives. I know it's better to eat not while you're like watching TV, but I enjoy it, so I don't mind. I'm gonna do a bit more organizing once I'm done this, and then I might have tea with some chocolate. So I'll probably take a clip of that if I do. But as far as talking goes, I'm just going to close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be back with the what I eat in a week soon. My neighbors are watching me vlog myself. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thumbs it up for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Link to my Instagram down below or it's just at Melissa Merck. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.